Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Ryan here. So today I'll be doing what if Izuku had all for one part 13. So let's begin. Izuku arrived in the food court and soon found Stella and Hitoshi sitting at the table together with a spare plate of food. Is this food mine? Izuku asked and Stella nodded her head. Thank you, love. Izuku seated and Stella smiled and said it was no problem. Good job, Hiroshi. In placing second in the first round and tenth in the second, you also haven't had use uh, like to use your quirk either which amazing since it shows the school that you aren't reliant on your quirk. Izuku stated as he ate and Hitoshi thanked him for the training and Izuku nodded his head. Stella then informed Izuku what his past abusers tried to do in the waiting room of 1A and Izuku was annoyed with them. I see, I see. they still treat me as an object they can do as they please with and Izuku stated as he shook his head and just kept eating his food. He thought she was also annoyed but put it uh, like put it outside of his mind since he knew his adoptive father could easily handle himself with the three people from his past without problems. After a while, Endeavor walked over to the group and Izuku waved at him. Hello uncle, Izuku said and Hitoshi looked at them, uh, like at the men. So the number two hero is your, is my grand uncle or something now? He asked and Endeavor looked confused as hell since he never met this kid. Izuku chuckled and confirmed that he was indeed his grand uncle and Endeavor was even more confused and said what the explain he asked Izuku and Stella decided to speak up first and explained how it all happened and Endeavor just shook his head I should accept nothing less from you honestly just don't get Stella pregnant before graduation and it's all fine Endeavor said as he made small time before he said he needed to return to his seat since it was getting close to the time for the rounds to start they all said their goodbyes as Endeavor just walked away rubbing his head from the margin or margin he just received and Izuku was just smirking the entire time. They all decided to go back to their seating area since the rounds will start soon as Endeavor pointed out. Izuku went back to the staff room while Hitoshi went to the general education section and Stella went toward 1A. Stella walked into the 1A section to see Yagi, Bakugo and Todoroki staring at her and she just rolled her eyes at them which annoyed them. They really don't learn do they? Day, she thought as she sat down with her friends. So Stella, did you enjoy lunch with your sexy man? You know, Mina asked her and Stella easily confirmed it. Indeed, we enjoyed our time together and yes, he is sexy as hell. It's amazing to wake up in the morning with him at my side. Stella stated without blushing but for the other girls were all blushing hard at the mental image and Yagi was pissed about what she was hearing since she had a, a brother complex. They just sat there talking about like a bit longer until the first round was called. The first people fighting was going to be Kaminari versus the Vine girl in 1B. Let's just say that it didn't go as people would think as Kaminari short circuited himself quite easily. Izuku was sitting in the staff booth and was wondering how he even got into the hero course and decided to ask Nizu. Nizu how did he even make it into the hero course? Izuku asked and Nizu pulled up a video of the exam showing him directly touching the show and shocking the robots while only required him to put off the electrical uh, like currents for a very brief uh, period. An example uh, of why the exam is so biased. Izuku stated as he rolled his eyes they kept watching the, uh, the battles as they moved forward and forward soon it was Sela versus Bakugo and Izuku knew how that was was going to go. Stella won't need to use much effort to win this, Izuku stated and everyone looked at him but then here the fight starts and so Stella used her quirk to cut off the fire from Bakugo's quirk which made him fall out of the air into the ground. He looked confused but realized what she did as Prison Mike spoke out. Ladies and gents, Vermilion quirk allowed her to control all fire even from her enemies meaning she can stop, uh, stop Bakugo's explosions as they happen which need to use his quirk mean he is quirkless in this fight mike yelled out and everyone cheered as stella sent a wave of fire at bakugo forcing him to detonate since he couldn't ignite his sweat on his own and the explosion sent him out of the ring with burns on him damn she took him out quickly snipe stated and the other staff nodded their head hitoshi had to fight a kid from 1b that had a copy quirk but hitoshi didn't use his quirk and knew to keep his mouth shut as well 
well as such Hitoshi engaged in quirk, uh, quirkless combat and had the kid pinned to the ground in a shock hold and stopped him from escaping which resulted in him getting called out Hitoshi walked off the stage with his head hu held high since he had just made it into the top 10 more matches went on and the final four people were shown it was Stella versus Todoroki which the staff knew how that was going to go and then Yage versus Hitoshi the staff that knew Hitoshi was his cool kid was tense and worried he uh, would go ballistic if Yagi harmed Hitoshi too much but Izuku had a smirk on his face which confused the staff and kind of made them a bit scared of what would happen in that match Still a match where, which was just as everyone in the staff booth predicted it to go Still had sent a lot of fire that put Todoroki's eyes to no use and then cancelled out his fire or even uh, took control of it she never even moved from her starting uh, position in any of her matches which did not get missed by anyone she do dominated the field and it showed now though it was time for Yage versus Hitoshi and Izuku sat on the edge of his seat with a smirk the match was called uh, to start and Hitoshi shot off uh, like at her while Yage tried to use her quirk to grab a hold of him which she did but he gripped the ring and refuses to let go which made her get uh, up close to force him out that was horrible mistake on her part as the moment she did the, uh, like she did he hit her right uh, where Izuku taught him to uh, and blocked her quirk usage she was constant and spoke to her confused on why you can't use your quirk he asked and uh, she nodded her head and asked why which got her trapped in his uh, quirk walk to the edge of the ring and stop uh, like step out Hitachi ordered and she did just like that but the moment she got off the edge a burst of one for all activated really can the past user effing not intervene in the tournament Izuku cursed in his mind but Hitoshi was uh, shocked but got out of it and charged at her she turned around in shock and was holding her hand as he like as it was broken from the discharge of her quirk since she never got a good control of it she charged uh, the quirk up and sl sludged at him as he dodged it right under her, her punch and grabbed uh, like grabbed her and threw her out of the ring since she was so close to the edge that's it Yage lost the match by the ring out prison mike yelled out and hitoshi pumped his fist into the air yes izuku sheared in the staff booth izuku who do you think we will win your shinso or your future wife nizu asked and izuku thought uh, over for a bit it's hard hitoshi has beaten Stella once already but i doubt she will fall for the same thing so he will need to think her hard and there is also no dirt for him to throw in her eyes either like last time i think Stella will pull, uh, like pull a win on this one since she wa was like an uh, she has an advantage here izuku stated and nizu nodded his head regardless hitoshi has proven himself capable enough to move to be moved directly to the hero course nizu stated and the staff nodded their heads all my thought to make the stupid decision to open his mouth sir will not we need to remove someone from the hero course since the class are full all my seated and izuku decided to take a shot uh, at him we could easily remove yage or bakugo or todoroki since they really should never have been admitted in the first place with their uh sorry with their past action per ua policy izuku said with a smirk and all might and inko looked like they wanted to object it but knew they couldn't izuku thought rolled his eyes at izuku being pretty uh like pt and spoke up we can have 21 students in class 20 isn't requirement to keep uh, but that is where we keep uh, uh, like a 20 to 1 teacher reach you for the hero course but we can let that go for now Nezu seated and Izuku rolled his eyes fine but he goes in 1a since Aizawa is there and Hitoshi will be an underground hero like him and can learn from him when I'm not around to help him learn privately Izuku seated out and Nezu nodded his head at Izuku request soon it was time for the 
the last round to start it, it was Hitoshi vs Stella. They both uh, came out to the field, ladies and gents. It's one a phonics queen vermilion going up against the underdog from General Studies, who has thrown his tournament on its head, Shinso. Let's watch the final fight. My, like Mike yelled out, and soon the match was started, and Hitoshi ran around the fireball that she sent, and she knew she couldn't put pull the stain in or yeah stain in one spot thing as she made the fire wings and flew into the air well that complicates things for Shinsu now doesn't it Mike yelled out as the crowd went wild it's how she just kept dodging the fireballs and was getting annoyed come on stop picking on me he cried out and Stella just chuckled but didn't respond back as the fire kept on going Hitoshi just raised his hand and gave in I surrender I got no way of winning this without some support gear since she can stay in the air the entire time it's all she called out and Midnight accepted the result of the match. This resulted in Stella becoming or coming in the first place and Hitoshi coming in the second place. The third place was shared by Yagi and Todoroki. They were all called out and decided to receive the rewards and one giving them was sadly All Might. Stella and Hitoshi both rejected a hug from All Might which raised eyebrows but no one like commented on it. At that time All Might just went with it and pushed forward and ended the spot festival soon Hitoshi was called to the staff booth and told he will be moved into class 1a starting the coming Monday and the to report to the classroom moving forward Hitoshi broke down in tears and Izuku just uh, just hugged him and lead him down to and told him good job son Izuku said and Hitoshi just hugged him back this brought an idea to the sports festival as a whole and it will soon be time for the internships Izuku was happy in uh, all honestly he had love and girlfriend and now he had this a soon to be adopted son which was honestly an entire family put together now only if izuku could get rid of people from his past since they are always being annoyed but izuku knew he had to cut it uh, like to cut his uh, losses at one point or another and it, this seemed to be uh, like to be the best he was going to get out of the situation izuku stella and hitoshi all left home early since Hitoshi would be transferring into 1A and was asked to report to the staff room before heading to the classroom since Aizawa walked to speak with, to him first. As such, this is how the three of them found themselves in the staff room watching as Aizawa offered to teach Hitoshi to use his capture gear since Aizawa thought it would be the perfect support gear for Hitoshi to use which combined with the training that he did under Izuku will make him a powerful underground hero in the future. If he keeps his training up, Izuku nodded his head to Hitoshi when he looked at Izuku for approval since Hitoshi was Izuku's personal student first. After, after talking a, a bit longer and watching the Yagi go into uh, like a state of shock after learning of Izuku adopting Hitoshi because Prison Mike opened his mouth without realizing that the Yagis were in the room and the four of them headed off to 1A. Izuku was going to be joining Aizawa for the day since he didn't want to go out into patrol today. As such, all four of them walked into 1A and the class went silent. The class had realized there was a new desk in the back of the room but no one knew who it was for or why but but they got the hint now. Everyone, you remember Hitoshi Shinso, who will be joining 1A from now on, like Aizawa stated, and they all broke out into question except Ida, which Izuku noticed, likely due to his brother being attacked and injured by Stain recently. Izuku thought, but came to his thought as Aizawa showed everyone how many internships offers they got. Hitoshi got none since he wasn't a hero student at the time for him to get any and normally it take uh, like longer. Stella received a large amount to, and had to top amount overall. She even got uh, one from Endeavor but Izuku and Stella both knew that Todoroki would likely be there so he ju she just rejected it. Instead, 
Stella decided to go with a pro hero that specializes in rescue training since she wanted to get better in that regard. It was a rescue team named the Wild Wild Pussycats. Izuku nodded his head and that picked uh, the pick and looked around at everyone else's picks. Izuku noticed that Ida had picked Hosu and he didn't like the fact that he would bring it up to Aizawa later. As they were all talking about who they were going to pick, Hitoshi was just sitting there looking around, looking like down a bit but Izuku passed by and dropped a paper off in his desk which was an offer to work under him for the internship uh, time period. Hitoshi saw this and smirked and nodded his head. Soon lunch came around and Izuku stayed behind with Aizawa as Stella and Hitoshi went to lunch by themselves. You need something? Aizawa asked and Izuku nodded his head as he took his mask off. I think Ida is going to go after Stain and get killed due to his stupidity. Izuku stated and Aizawa tensed up at the statement and looked in Izuku's eyes. He chooses only one internship location which is on Hoso. His brother just recently got attacked and Stain still has like at least two more people to attack in Hoso before he moves cities. Izuku stated and Aizawa nodded his head. As it stands without more direct proof, we can't actually stop him since he didn't request for any other place. We could get a manual to reject it which would go to his second choice but he only picked manual which make the, uh, that hard as such. I can only warn Manuel to keep an eye on him. Aizawa stated and Izuku nodded his head in understanding before thinking for a bit. I will take Hitoshi with me to the Hoso and keep watch. If I find Stain then I will have Hitoshi stay away as I deal with him but I will be following Ida around to ensure he doesn't do something stupid. I'm also a good person to fight Stain since I got ranged combat abilities and healing quirks. Izuku stated and Aizawa considered it and nodded his head. Aizawa just warned Izuku to be careful and looked uh, and Izuku would especially since he would be taking Hitoshi with him. As such, there is how the internship week started. Izuku luckily had about a week of time to start teaching Hitoshi or some of the basics for Aizawa's car and the man could teach him the rest later but Izuku wanted Hitoshi to have some form of support gear or weapon when they went out out during the internship so quickly repeated that they did for the two weeks of training and trained non-stop for entire week since the internship were the following week after they came back from the short weekend break everyone else went into the buses to get their internships and Izuku saw Silo off to her internship before he looked at Hitoshi okay son let's get in the car and we are going to Hoso Ida is going to do something stupid so we need to keep uh, his uh, but alive. Izuku stated uh, bluntly and Hitoshi just rolled his eyes. I can see why Aizawa called 1A the problem children class, Hitoshi stated and Izuku pointed out that he is a member of side class now. Hitoshi just rolled his eyes at that statement and ignored it which just made Izuku shrug his shoulder. Soon the two of them arrived in Hosu and started off their patrols. Izuku had let Hitoshi deal with a handful of thugs but made sure to be close enough or close enough to deal with any other threats that may present itself as he kept a small shadow hidden next to Hitoshi so he could have a quick, like quick attack if someone was already too close to his Hitoshi. Overall Hitoshi was getting some decent training with the capture scarf as well which made Izuku happy as he knew that Hitoshi would be able to stand against most of the people in the class if he couldn't use his quirk which was good. And guys if you noticed like the changes between any voice just to tell you. Uh, one I recorded around 3 a.m. and one like I'm recording like around 2 p.m. or something like that so yeah. Then came the third day of the internship and Izuku had kept the, a crow watching Ida the entire time. He was outside of patrol or even not on duty and he was outside of his uh, like uh, accommodations. Izuku was waiting for the moment where Ida would uh, screw up and decided to take the law in his own hands and go after Stain to kill him. The old saying went, uh, you ask and you shall receive and it did just that. Izuku Cross sent memories to him, Hoso was now in flames 
as gnomos from the SJ were attacking but from what he could see they were weaker but what troubled Izuku was the fact that Ida had gone after Stain. The moment the city went into flames Ida bolted from his mentor. The moment his attention was away Ida did it. He bolted from his internship mentor and is hunting for Stain like an idiot. Izuku stated and Itoshi rolled his eyes at the end groaned. I say he should get expelled for this since people like me tried so hard to get in but yet he goes and does shit like uh, crap like this. Itoshi stated and Izuku had uh, to resist the urge of chuckling and agreeing since Izuku really did want to agree with that. Yeah, Izuku took uh, Hitoshi with him and they ran toward the direction that Ida had run off in. Izuku could uh, teleport but he did didn't have much practice in teleporting with multiple people and he also didn't want to just teleport into a fight with Hitoshi. As such, he just followed Ida from the distance via the crow since he hadn't found Stain yet. However, just as Izuku thought that he saw via the crows that Ida was uh, like has found the Stain in a back alley as he was about to kill a pro hero native. Damn idiot! Declared his intention of killing Stain as well and didn't even know the pro hero on the ground. Izuku thought as he like as they kept jumping they were only short distance away Hitoshi if I had to teleport then I want you to follow this crow to the destination I can't let Ida die because of his stupid mistakes Izuku stated and Hitoshi nodded his head as he saw a crow flying in front of them as they kept going Hitoshi saw Izuku just disappear and he knew that he had teleported to the fight since Ida was likely about to get killed so he just followed the crows uh, since they were only a short distance away. Izuku thought had teleported right in front of Stain and blocked the blow from killing Ida. Sir, Ida called out and Izuku kicked Stain in the gut, forcing him back. Can you move Ida? Izuku asked and then he responded no but said that he should leave since it was his fight. This caused Izuku to turn around and kick Ida right in the, uh, like in the side which caused him to scream in pain. Shut the hell up you idiot, Izuku yelled out as he turned back to Stain and got into the fight position. Ida, once we get done here, I'm uh, like advocating for you to be demoted out of the hero course for this just as uh, so you know. You had the guts to go after Stain when your brother would blame himself if you died, idiot, Izuku stated and Ida face widened in shock, Izuku then charged at Stain and kept fighting the man as Izuku talked. Native, are you able to stand and escape with the student? Izuku called out and it is said he wasn't evil which made Izuku curse under his breath. Oh effing course not. Izuku stated and Stain looked at Izuku and asked who he was. I'm a pro hero hunter. I am American pro hero here on a special case but working out of uh, your way right now. For a short period of time I'm assuming you won't uh, like won't let uh, like time take native and uh, the idiot student away from here without fighting will you? Izuku stated and say nod uh, nodded his head. Indeed. They are fake heroes but you seem like a good one. Are you a worthy hero like All Might? Saints uh, stated and Izuku broke into laughter. All Might is a joke. You don't even know of the crimes he committed that got covered by the hero commotion. Do you think he's a worthy person? Izuku was like said as he questioned uh, like Stain's ideals. Saying God's piss and asked, who the hell was he to know such things? Who might you just ask? I am sadly the stepson of All Might, who he neglected for years and allowed his biological daughter to believe him physically, mentally, and with her quirk for years before I ran away. That is who I am. So, I would know about how worthy that man is truly is. Izuku stated and everyone in the alley was shocked to silence with what they just learned. Then Stain heard this, uh, like his name, and called and was asked the question from above. Stain, do you still think All Might is the true hero know, uh, like knowing that? The voice asked and Stain uh, like looked up and responded that he didn't know but then he froze Izuku looked at the voice and saw it was Hitoshi. Good job Siren. Ordered him to remove all weapons he has and toss them on the ground in front of him. Izuku said and Hitoshi did that. 
Soon Stain was defenseless and Izuku wrapped shadows around him, which knocked him out of the qu like quirk and he was uh, like and he was pissed. It's over Stain. You've been beaten up by my intern. You will just uh, you like you will serve justice for your crime. Izuku seated and Hitoshi placed the quirk cancelling cuffs on him. Izuku then had Hitoshi call the police and report their location and request medical care. Uh, soon they were all in the hospital as Ida and Native had to be taken to get care the four izuku thought he wanted uh, the book thrown at ida for his stupid actions but he made a stop at the older brother room and healed him tensei was shocked when he got healed and asked who izuku was and he just said a simple pro hero by the way if you haven't been told your brother decided to hunt stain down and almost died tonight he's uh, in here the uh, like uh, in the hospital and i want to the book thrown at him in all honestly because he decided to go be vigilante Izuku said, and Tensei peeled and asked uh, how he was. Light wound since I arrived before he got killed and saved him. Again, I would like uh, I would like him fully punished and kicked out of the hero course and all honestly but I'm salty guy when it's come to people like your brother and their stupidity, Izuku said and Tensei nodded his head and asked for help get into the room since his legs were still adjusting to being healed, Izuku helped him and soon they were at the room where they found the police chief who was showing it out but was also showing Hitoshi out for using his quirk since he didn't have, an, uh, have a hero. Oh hell no, he ain't uh, showing my kid out, Izuku thought. Excuse me, but what the hell do you think you are doing uh, showing Hitoshi out? Izuku asked and the chief looked at him and asked who he was. I'm pro hero hunter and again, I ask you why are you showing him out? Izuku uh, like asked with darker tone. He had no right to use his quirk and we are considering charging them both for vigilantism. He stated in the chief and you could hear Hitoshi say under his breath that it was the wrong thing to say which the chief heard and looked at him but didn't know Hizuku getting angry. Oh hell no you can't go after the Ida brat since he indeed was vigilante in his action but Hitoshi had permission from me who is his internship mentor to use his quirk second want me to destroy your career or and render you to a parking maid for the rest of your miserable life chief izuku stated and the chief got pissed and stepped up to izuku are you threatening me threatening an officer i want to see your hero license now the chief stated and izuku grinned under his mask and had his special agent license out and the chief paled when he read it so i'm asking again want me to ru ruin your career chief you have a lot of balls going after my intern for what i gave him permission for with the present which he did it which was 100% legal so again chief are you sure you want to f in tango because i'm sure i would walk away from this and just but are you izuku stated as he yelled out that the last part and got really uh, damn close to the chief face since the chief was really getting on his nerves the chief took a step back and bowed his head and in, in like an apology and said he was sorry for accusing him and uh, like accusing his enter everyone was shocked Shocked at how quickly the chief turned the tail on the situation when he saw the license, and the other were wondering what he saw on the license. Ida and Hitoshi knew he was a special agent, but they never really grasped how much power they have until this moment. Sir, may I ask about the Ida kid? Uh, then uh, was he even uh, had the permission from Manuel or you? The chief asked, and Izuku said he knew nothing of him getting permission. And then he looked at Manuel, who said he didn't receive permission. The chief looked at Ida and glanced at the special agent next to him. Kid, I am recommending you way to deal with you and not take this to a, a, like a legal matter. Though they will likely kick you out of the hero course for this, but this is your only warning for this type of thing the chief stated and walked out of the door since he thought he was uh, wasn't done with his brother as he used the uh, crutches and walked to his brother and smacked him Ida was in shock at seeing his brother up and moving and had the question that Tensei refused to answer since Izuku had asked him not to talk about with that guys I'm gonna end this video here I know it's gonna be short but I'm sorry
you know school is back again and it will be hard to record the one hour long uh, video specials and you know but don't worry i will try my best to upload schedule more schedule and you know you know put more a uh, good schedule uh, like uh, to balance my studying and youtube and yeah thank you for watching this video and i hope you stay home stay safe wash your hand and spend the time with the most precious people you have and take care of yourself because you are the most individual person and important one at that and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe it helps us out with the youtube algorithm and yada 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 you know so yeah see you next video peace out bye bye